Hey guys, Mr. Bunny here, but before we begin, I just wanted to say really quickly to the person that I did the speed paint to, happy birthday. Hopefully, it's a really good one, so have a blast, dude. Now let's get on with the intro! <laughs> What's up everybody, Mystery Bunny, welcome back to another speed paint. That's right guys, I'm back doing another one of my friends, and... Well, I can say like he's my boss in a way. But, yeah, you guys can go ahead and guess who the fuck this is. It's pretty obvious though. But yeah, so this time I'm gonna do something a little different because this guy is about to have a birthday, so if I do remember to record this, then I should remember to say happy birthday, dude. And yeah, you saw that in the beginning. Um, yeah, so first off, if you, this person, he's a really cool guy. To the fact that, um, I know sometimes he has some off days with some of my friends, and sometimes I have some off days, or like internal off days with him, and, but I've tried my best not to provide conflict with him, so it's just like, yeah, that's the best thing about to you know? It's like teachers, you can't, you can't like, Tell them you're wrong, and not, but at the same time, you know that it's gonna piss them off. So if they're already pissing you, or they grill you, that's not the same thing. Just my case. But yeah. So the person that I'm talking about, um, he's like the way that I encountered him. I'm talking, talking to him, made him sound like a cult leader. Jesus Christ. Okay. So the way I encountered him was that um at the time, Cam and Cat were like. Working for I last time I heard from that point it was like they were working so I planned it. I decided to go on my own little hiatus kinda ish with working with YouTubers, although I love working with YouTubers. So I decided to go away and um I still talk to them, you know, like chill with them, hang out with them. And somehow they encountered a dude named Brian. To this day I don't know how that happened, I just know they did. Then what happened was that um like they brought out my friend Blake and they started working with her. So, um, the way that it happened was that they wanted me to be on there, me and Juke, because we were the only two from the like, quote unquote squad that didn't, um, go on there. So, we would be like, you know, on the sidelines, you know, like just wait for them to finish recording, we would just hang out, you know, talk and chill. So, it was best for us to be like, you know, wait our turn. Then he opened applications and decided to apply. Before he told us anything, he told me and Drew that we were at the end, but these guys didn't know, so they were sending him a lot of death threats. So playful ones, relax guys, they didn't send him like, oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you, no, relax, chill. It was more like playful ones, so we got in and we tried telling them that guy that we were in, so we got into a call, and they were like, Brian, how, if you don't fucking get like they're already in, ha, ah, and they're like, oh, okay, and so, we got in, we were in the Skype call, and then from there we transferred to their Discord, and I started body acting for them. So from body acting, I got body acting and writing at the time, because that, those were my main strong suits, and then from there is that what happened to be the voice of who I voice now, um, the way that she came to play was that um, one day Kat and Blake and Cam were messaging me saying like, hey, do you mind like, do you mind coming on? And I was like, sure. Hey, do you mind recording with us? And I'm like, uh, sure. Like, what skin do we need to like, oh, here, I made you your skin. And, and she looked a lot like me. And I was like, okay, where is this going? And then um, they're like, so think of a name, think of a backstory. We're about to record in about like 10 minutes. All right, good luck. See, see you later. Three, two, one. I was like, oh, shit. Congratulations. Over here, Bunny, you've been promoted to voice actor. I heard in my head. And on the other side of my head, I heard, well, at least shit. Because it's interesting. Because I was so nervous. Like, if you look back to the way I voice like, her now compared to back then, I was scared shitless. Because I was not used to it. And I had a, I, I had a good mic. It's just that I didn't know what to do. I was, like, so freaked out. I was, like, paranoia. I... It was interesting. So, yeah, and then I didn't even know how to portray the character at the time, so I didn't have like a good backstory or anything. That was, you know, like, good. 
but because I gave her the name of my OC, um, I thought maybe I should pair her up instead of having like an older sister, I'd give her an older brother, have two younger brothers go for the backstory, have her have like a medical background because of the episode where Brian got shot in potion. Yeah guys, if you're on mine! Woo! <laughs> so, yeah guys. I'm doing Ryan, aka the famous film, because you know, um, it's it's his birthday coming up, or it's already happened, depending on what the fuck I do with my Wi-Fi. But yeah, so then um, I portrayed her. She's now the motherly nurse figure now in the group, which is good. As well as like, I'm excited to see how far we can go with her backstory, because you know, I I, I has it planned out. So yeah, we'll see. And to get back to Brian. So yeah, um, so that was the way that I encountered Brian and how I became the voice of Dawn. Um, I, not gonna lie, when I first encountered Brian, he see because from the photos that I saw, like on his Instagram, like Instagram his Twitter, because I started, he started following me and I started following. Him. Well, I started following him. He started following me. Was that um, he? He seemed okay. I'm trying to think of the right word. He seemed like a bit of arrogance into him I want to say Ryan if you're watching this don't think bad of me just let me continue with my rant or my tangent whatever you the fuck you want to call this shit but he seemed arrogant like he didn't seem me right he didn't like because the way that he smiled his eyes and stuff like that because for me I just because I draw I like to notice the eyes and the way that they you know they act you know so from the way that I've seen previously and stuff like that and from the way that I saw his pictures were posted on Twitter the way he tweets I was like this bitch looks a little arrogant and maybe self-centered in some aspects maybe not but then I noticed that when I got a chance to encounter him and talk to him one-on-one -on -one sometimes or like with the rest you know Blake Cat and like droop and they can sometimes they like he wasn't that he was honestly very kind and sweet like he's one of the he's one of the few youtubers i believe that look like they they're not assholes they look like they could be somewhat assholes yet they're not because i've i've had my fair share of encountering youtubers that are like that they look really nice sweet, but they're fucking assholes and they're the ones that look like fucking assholes and then they're not assholes they're really cute cupcakes cinnamon rolls whatever you want to call them but yeah so brian we decided so from there on out um brian that's how the way that i perceived brian brian was like that kind of that kind of way he like i don't know like God damn, I know he's gonna be watching this video because I'm gonna fucking post it instead of him. So I better choose my words wisely. Like in persona. Fucking shit. We're gonna help. I'm kidding. Um, but. <laughs> uh. But like, he. I don't know why he seemed like that to me. Probably the way he dressed. Probably his shoes. The hair? Nah, never mind. My friend Chris has that kind of fucking style of hair. Like we nickname it douchebag hair. Well, in my head, I nickname it douchebag hair because uh, the amount of enemies I've watched and the hair like that, it's more like a force of habit of mine. Cause yeah, same way that we had the mother, mother's death hair, you know. But I don't know, like that's the kind of attitude I saw to him. But then from there, when I talked to him. I like my nerves calmed down. I calmed down, and it turns out he was very nice and sweet. And we got a chance to know each other. We got a chance to like interact, um, which is really good. I'm happy because now I can officially call him my twin, which I'm grateful that we're friends. I'm grateful that I got a chance to know him. I'm grateful that he got a chance to know me, and I'm hope that I get a chance to meet him in real life. Like every one of my online friends. I want to get a chance to know him in real life. I don't want to make it any awkward for myself via voice because, you know, my voice and my face are completely two different things, so it's like, yeah, and I doubt he knows what I look like, so it's just like, well, let's see what goes, but yeah, um, honestly, he's, 
hopefully he watches the video because if you do, dude, honestly, I care for you a lot. You're my fan, like you're my friend, and you're like, which means you're partially like partially closer to the family than anything. And I'm super glad you chose me to like be part of your team. I'm super glad that you chose my friends to be part of your team because without them, I would have never encountered you, my dude. And hopefully, we have a lot of years of friendship ahead of us. Because so far, we've only known each other for a year, so hopefully we get to know each other, like, hopefully we get to know each other more years and not lose touch. But, yeah. I'm glad that you gave me a chance and a shot to understand one another, and let's see what the future has to hold for both of us. It's an encounter that I cannot wait. Just like that spider that fell on your hand! <laughs> yeah! Now I can finally tell the story about the spider! Woo! So yeah, if you don't know, there's a blooper on, I think, Kyle's channel and maybe Brian's gonna upload it in the future, but there's a blooper where basically what happened was is that uh, a spider fell on Brian from the roof to like his mic to his hand and he blood curdling screamed. Like it was a shout that at the time when we were recording with Cody, Cory, Co Cory, Cody, and the rest of his gang for Crafting Dead. Like our last episode together, we we were like they thought it was fucking Blake, and I just found it so hilarious. And I started dying and laughing. Like you can hear my burst of laughter in the recording. That I got to the point that I couldn't breathe. So at the time I was actually in summer school. So um, when that encounter happened, and he posted the video itself after that, um, I decided to be like. You know what? Let me get out of my music talk because I was taking a music uh, creation class. So I was like, let me see what I can do. So I decided to record the audio for that uh, for that video, cut it down to scream, and then from there I decided to think, okay, I can totally remix this and make it to a song. Then I told my music teacher at the at uh, the time um, that I was at the school, and um, his name is Mr. Shukis. I would be willing to say his name, but. Don't look up my info. Like at the time, like he was like, "You're gonna like, are you gonna do that?" I'm like, he, I was like, you know, I'm like, yeah. And he, he's like, "All right, we ha haven't had any weeder. We had a dude who did whoopee well, cushion farts, armpits noise." And I'm like, "Oh my god, are you serious?" And he's like, "Yeah." So this isn't the weirdest thing we've heard happen in summer school or this class. And I'm like, awesome. So yeah, with the small experience that I have as a student, as being in orchestra and le learning like music productions, I decided to make his, him a song. I put it on Snapchat and I sent it to him in a group chat and everyone was like, you're fucking not, I'm like, you bitch I am. And I was super proud of the results. Um, yeah, like, you've, like I've used this song now like two times and for those of you who want to use it in your videos, uh, give me a chance to make more tracks, and we'll see from there. I'll also talk to Brian about that too. So yeah, the song was my creation, but after all, he's the sound. So I basically made his scream, like the drop. I made his scream the end. I made his scream be the bass line of it all. I just reverbed it, put it, made the higher pitch, like put, like made a higher pitch, changed the octave of it, put the sound in, changed the tempo, of course, have like a nice like good swing to it. It's not a bad track for like my beginning. I do know that I want to make his song better. I want to make this. And I know my friend Justice is like, he's done a drop before where he accidentally used writers and I'm like thinking I want to collab and try to create something with it using a bunch of like different sounds. Like I just have this crazy idea of doing that. I don't know why. I'm just, ah, uh, okay. But yeah, that is the story, and that is indeed a true fact. He's even stated that in the stream, and it is real, guys. The song I created for Brian using his scream is real. Which is actually my outro for this one. So you guys can get to enjoy, and as well as enjoy the two to one speed paint. Because, Brian, guess what? You not only have a, like, one art, you have actually a small animation that you are welcome to use on your Twitch account. Anytime you want to. I don't know, you can use it Twitch or I don't know. Your choice what you want to use it to. 
It's honestly your choice. But yeah, thank you guys for hearing me out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And the name of the track is my personal track called Miss Shout, created by me, use the grind scream, and you'll recognize the scream. So yeah, be careful with your headphones, guys, because this is honestly a cool sound. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys will leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me who you want to see next. I can do for family friends to uh, OCs to close family. And uh, yeah, and if you're my friends, you know where to find me, DM me, and stuff like that. Also, please, 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 do not be afraid for ask me who to draw. I can get in an art slump real fast. I just need inspiration, that's all. So yeah, be sure to comment down your ideas and stuff like that, and we'll see if that becomes a speed thing. If not, then maybe we can try Minecraft again. All right, anywho, see you guys later. Enjoy Miss Shout, and let's see if you like that beautiful screen. And happy birthday, Brian, and hopefully you enjoyed that. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye!